New Year's is a global tradition that has been celebrated since we realized the difference between cold and hot seasons. Whether we're dancing around campfires, waving our clubs at the evil demons of winter, or watching New York hit puberty for the 116th time, New Year's marks a new chapter in every rendition of humanity's book. We as authors of our own book universally try to run predictions or set goals for us to achieve before the next chapter. However, most of us fail within the first few pages. As we all know, nobody can actually predict the futures and so many different random variables can alter our time on Earth, which will completely change the course of our lives. This means all the information we've gathered before New Year's, which we base our future ambitions off of, can be invalidated with one unknown variable. So how can we actually predict our own future? And can we do it accurately? Well, simply put, we can't. However, that doesn't mean we can't try and put in effort to have the highest probability. For example, if I say I want to become a famous YouTuber within the year, I can't actually predict that since most of it is due to the algorithm which is completely out of my control. However, if I was to put in the time to learn how to edit, which is in a way that is popular now and keeps the highest retention, and I keep learning how to talk and be more appealing with how I convey points, and also make better thumbnails because mine are pretty bad now, the chances of me making a video that will see me blow up and starting a great career isn't impossible. The main thing to keep in mind when setting goals or predictions is to understand that nothing realistic is impossible. But I can't just say I want this and then expect it to happen. I need to actually dedicate my most valuable currency, which is time, into raising the likelihood that I can achieve my goal. Personally, my goal isn't to become mega famous or anything, but I like to have a big community that I can share my opinions with without having crazy edits in my videos. I want people to join me and my channel because of who I am, not because of who I portray myself to be. The first criteria of making any goal doable is to understand the amount of time and energy it takes to achieve. Anybody can have a dream and set goals for themselves, but only the people who realize their capabilities beforehand can actually achieve them. The second is to make a goal not only realistic to your abilities, but to your overall passion. If I'm being into one game at the start of 2024, I may set a goal to 100% complete the game. But the problem with this goal is, as I work to finish it, my interest may begin to change, since it isn't something I've been passionate about for my whole life. Another example, if you set a goal to be more social, then first I'd ask yourself if you're willing to go out and talk to new people every day or every week. And not only that, but keep relations with these people like, through texting and socializing and hanging out more. Are you willing to do this? Second, I'd ask if you'd want to be more social for a short term, such as like school or something, or in the long term, if you want to be an extroverted type of person. If you really want this for yourself and you have and or are willing to put in the time to achieve this, then it should be your goal. Again, you could fuck up at any point during this, but if you keep trying, your chances of becoming more social are higher. The last real thing to consider before making a goal is probably the most important. Think to yourself, if you lost all your friends, if you lost all your money, uh, all your positivity, would you still be willing to achieve this goal? It's kind of like risk management. Think of anything that would impair your goal and decide if you're able to continue trying after this or if this is just another goal lost to chance. Just like investing, anybody can put money into a stock, but only the people who understand the risk slash variables will be okay if things didn't go to plan. So in summary, assess your abilities and your skills and make sure you're capable of achieving this goal. Second, make it something you're passionate about. Don't just have a goal because you want to have a goal. Have a goal because you actually want to achieve it. And third, apply risk management to your goal. If all else fails, will you still be willing to try? Good luck to everyone in finding your goals and predicting your next chapter. You only have about 80 of them, so make sure this one counts.